Hello everyone, my name is Vikas Narmetla. My topic is on social predation in electrical eels. Introduction and background information. Electrical eels are known for their ability to shock their prey, and this is also how they got their name. Because electrical eels live in muddy waters, they are mostly blind. They rely on low-level electrical pulses to navigate and communicate with other eels. They can also rely on their electrical pulses to determine if an organism is alive or dead. Electrical eels can grow up to 6 to 8 feet long and weigh around 45 pounds. Electrical eels are mostly found in northern South America. A fun fact about electrical eels is that they are not actually eels. There are, they are closely related to catfish. A little bit more information. Electrical eels can generate an electrical charge up to 600 volts, which is not deadly, but if shocked repeatedly, it can cause respiratory or heart failure. An electrical eel relies on three organs, called the saxus organ, the hunter's organ, and the main organ, to generate and discharge their electrical shock. Electrical eels release their strongest electrical charge when they touch their prey with their chin. To the right, you can see a plastic arm embedded with light bulbs. This was an experiment done to show how much electricity an, ele an electrical eel discharge when when discharges when using its chin. The light bulbs embedded in the arm, arm represent how much electricity the eel is releasing at a time. Results and findings. Social predation occurs when groups of individuals coordinate to find and crap capture prey. Until recently, people have believed that eels are solitary creatures and hunt for food by themselves. In the article, Social Predation in Electrical Eels, they have discovered that a certain species of eels called Voltus eels have evolved to have a higher electrical charge and they also uh, adapted to group foraging. During the study, researchers have found that eels have four behavioral states, resting, interacting, migrating, and hunting. Eels usually interact, migrate, and hunt twice a day for three hours, around 5 to 8 a.m. when the sun is about to rise, and 6 to 9 p.m. when the sun is about to set. The other 18 hours of the day, they rest and relax. More results and findings. While hunting, Voltus eels start to swim in circles and herd groups of fish to the center of the circle. When prey are densely packed in the center, 5 to 10 eels launch electrical shocks to stun the prey, while the rest of the eels make sure none of the prey can escape. To the left, you can see a shadow under the water. That is the prey ball. The electrical eels try to make sure all the prey are densely packed in the middle while their teammates can stun or shock the prey. The conclusion, through this new research on electrical eels, we can see electrical eels who usually live by themselves and hunt alone are evolving to adapt to their new environments. One of these evolutions is working in groups to hunt prey faster and more efficiently. This evolution can also help them defend from predators. The downside to this evolution is that their group will need more food and space to survive. Why I chose this topic. The reason I chose this topic is because I was curious why electrical eels don't shock themselves. After looking into it, I found out that some scientists believe that electrical eels have proteins that shield them from the electrical shock. But this still has not been proven, so there might be another reason why they don't electrocute themselves. The references, these were the different articles and websites I used during my PowerPoint.